Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. About to leave, already packing. Come with me, I'm not really asking. We'll get away to a place where we don't know. About to see the world in action. So, in today's video, I'm excited to share with you how I achieved this stunning panel. So I have, um, I'm not an expert. I just went out, got some tools and did it myself. So um, if I can do it, anyone can do it. But like I say, I am not professional. I am just, I've just tried it and I think it turned out fantastic. So um, if you are interested in anything like this, also please follow my Instagram account at the McRae Home because I put a lot of stuff on there as well around all my DIY stuff and everything that I get involved with. So, um, without further ado, let's go and check out how I achieve it. So guys, just a couple of things that you're gonna need to do the paneling. So, um, a little hint and tip for you guys, I, um, I went to B&Q and for one of them strips they were wanting about four or five pound obviously it would need quite a lot so it turned out quite expensive but what you can do in there is buy a big sheet of MDF and they'll cut it to size for you so they'll cut whatever size you want so it will work out much cheaper so I probably spent about forty pound on all that wood which is great so that should cover all of the panelling so and then I have got some um, grip to just sort of glue on with um, I'm, I might need some more of that to be fair um, and then I've got some cork and I've got eight of them because I'm basically the squares and the panelling I'm going to fill with all that so it gives it a nice finish I've um, got some little pins so I've got the, the ones with the thin heads because obviously I don't want to see the heads in the panelling wood and then i got some pencils to mark out what I need to do i got the paint the paint colour that I want to paint the panel in and the wall measured in tape and then I bought this as well so this was £70 from B&Q um, it's a mitre saw um, and it just makes it so much easier to cut the wood um, I've never used one of these before so this is going to be a first but um, I'm sure it will be fine but yeah that's the things that you're going to need to get started you could cut it with hand if you really wanted to I think it's just going to make it so much easier for the space that I want to do, so I'm going to cut it with this saw. little bits here because you'll use wood filler um, to sort of just smooth them out but yes looking really good so first bit up at the top first bit down here next bit that I'm going to do I'm just going to do this little bit here 
and then I'm going to start my lines coming down here so let's get started so that's that piece on now guys so the next bit that you need to do is decide how wide apart you want your paneling to be so I've got some sockets I'm going to change the sockets but obviously I want to try and mess both them at each end so I'm just going to measure it all up now decide where I want my panels to be and then we'll take it from there so let's get measuring so I put this bit on now guys and I have kept this 14 inches apart so I'm just going to do the same going across up and down obviously avoiding the bracket and avoiding the radiator but um, straight to the ceiling straight down let's do it one little tip guys so when you're measuring so I've gone for 14 inches just make sure that you are measuring at different levels down so that you can make sure that it is perfect so yes just a little tip for you but it is looking, coming along great. So all my lines are in now guys. So I've just kept some little gaps up here just to make sure that my brackets and stuff um, for the TV can get on. Um, my wires were in here. So I've just sort of put this one up to here. The TV is going to cover all that anyway. Um, and then if I ever take the TV off the wall, I'll just put full um, length beams at that part. Um, and then over here. So yes, all getting there. So now, it's time for me to put in um, the middle bits so um, it'll look like that and then that'll all get painted. We'll put wood filler in to make it look good around the edges and yeah. So let's start doing these bits now. So um, for my lines that go this way, I've measured them all out. They're going to be 14 inches. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut lots of 14 inches out of this strip and then start sticking them up. I've gone for, um, this is where the line's going to go to, so I've gone for 37 centimetres um, from there to there. Um, and that's going to be the same all the way down, so let's do it. Tell me why'd you have to go and drive me so crazy? Now I'm feeling lost without you and I just can't be without you, baby. Won't you all night long? Won't you all night long? You have to go and drive me so crazy Now I'm feeling lost without you And I just can't be Without you, baby Won't you all night long so Guys, that's all my squares done So, um, and it was really easy So like I say, this bit here is all going to be covered anyway But looking at the squares They are looking amazing So, um, next job is to fill all the little bits at the end just so that it looks flawless and then it's time to paint and make it look amazing so so exciting done all the cork in so if you have a little look what I, what I did is I just basically put it down and run my finger down it and that just makes it all look like one piece of wood so when I paint it it'll all look the same so that's been done all the way around all the little bits are filled where needed so I just need to let that dry and then I can paint it all um, and I'll show you what it looks like once it's finished so this is the paint that I've chose guys it's part of the Valsma range and it's called dinner jacket really really dark grey and this is the bit that's going to make a massive difference so uh, Something knock them down. 
So there you have it, nice and easy. And um, so let me know if you try it yourself, send me some pictures. Go follow me, as I mentioned at the start, on my Instagram page at the McRae Home. Um, I interact with a lot of people over there, so I need some inspiration over there as well, please. So I'll be coming and checking you out. So. so if you don't, if you've not subscribed to me already, please subscribe. I'd love to have you all on this little journey with me. I do, I'm going to be doing lots of more DIY on my channel um, and lots of homely stuff. So if that's the stuff that you're interested in, please come and follow. I would love, love, love nothing more than to have you all um, on this little journey with me. So please subscribe, please like, and I will see you in my next video. Love you, bye. About to leave, already packing. Come with me, I'm not really asking. Well, yeah.